hoping this lighting looks okay. Natural light looks okay to me on the camera. Hope it looks the same on the screen. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I feel like it's been a very long time since I've just sat or stood and just spoke about either my favourite things or a chatty video about a bands like it's just felt like a very very long time so I've been meaning on doing this for a while so what I thought I would do let's just get straight into the video is my favorite Netflix shows because I think most people these days have a Netflix account and watch a lot of shows on there so let's just get straight into this video okay so the first show that I'm going to talk about is a show called Love which is a Netflix original it's about a guy and a girl who meet in a shop. They both go into the same shop and they both start talking to each other and they both had, well, the guys have just gone through a breakup and the girl's just not having a great time and they meet and they, they don't get together, they do get together, <laughs> they don't. It's kind of like really, really up and down to start with and you kind of watching and seeing and making your own kind of predictions but it's honestly really, really addictive. Like the trailer made it look really, really bad. Like I saw the trailer and was instantly put off by the trailer because it just looked really, really kind of slow and not kind of my thing. But when you've got nothing to watch on Netflix and you think, oh, I'll give that a try. And it was actually really, really good. So Love is my first Netflix show. Second one, which I think if you haven't watched this, then are you really a Netflix user? Orange is the New Black, like seriously, this show is just oh, the best. They've just done season four, they're currently filming season five, but we all know it won't be out until probably June next year. Season four ruined me, like every season has the best cliffhanger and you wanting to find out what's gonna happen. And yeah, it's about prison, like inmates in Litchfield prison, and yeah, it's a woman's prison and there's just drama and flashbacks. I love how they put the flashbacks in of um, characters. So every season you will find out about different characters and how they ended up in prison and their lives before it and stuff. So it's really, really interesting. It's very well done. But it's also comedy as well. So it's comedy and drama based. So if you like that kind of thing uh, and you haven't got a Netflix account, get a Netflix free trial and just binge it all because you will not regret it, I can assure you. I know so many people who watch this show, I think it's probably the most watched show on Netflix, I think, that's what I heard. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant show. Number three, which is honestly, again, one of the best Netflix originals, is Jessica Jones, starring Kristen Ritter and David Tennant. David Tennant is unbelievable in this show. He's the baddie, and he's got like, he's like a superpower, he's got kind of like this special kind of mind control power and he control, can, can control people to do whatever he says and it gets very very um, creepy, a little bit kind of ugh, kind of hard to watch at times because of things that goes off but it's absolutely incredible. Um, I've watched it and then I'm getting my mum to watch it and she's only up to episode 5 and it's like she's just got to the best bit and she hasn't watched it in ages so I'm trying to get her to watch more of it because it's just amazing. The whole plot line's really really good. I was honestly surprised at how much I liked it because again it wasn't kind of a program that I would go for um, but it was a Netflix original and uh, Netflix originals don't usually let me down they're usually really really outstanding programs and this one again did exactly that. It gave you the storyline it wasn't kind of dragged out for ages because I hate programs that are dragged out for such a long time I just feel like sometimes you're just like yeah come on we don't need all the kind of ins and outs, we just want the story. And there's only what, I think there's 13 episodes? Maybe 10? Not a very long series, but there is going to be a series too, so I'm very, very hyped for that. The next one on my list is Teen Wolf. Again, not a show I would usually watch, um, but it, w it was added to Netflix and I hadn't got anything to watch, so I just sat down and watched it and got very, very addicted, watched seasons one and two very quick. I just need them to add the rest of the series to the UK Netflix because it's bugging me very much. <laughs> it's got, um, it stars a lot of good people, Tyler Posey, Tyler Hochul and Dylan, um, Kira, what's his name, Dylan O'Brien um, and lots of like others, Colton Haynes, 
and it's about a teen that gets bitten by a wolf and turns into a wolf and can like go around and help uh, people but then there's like an alpha who's like the evil wolf who comes around trying to attack the wolf or the wolf and it's very confusing but really really good storyline it's just yeah it's just one of those things that's constantly got action in it and the episodes like seem very very quick they're like 40 minutes but they seem like 20 like just, that's when you know it's a good show is when you don't want the episode to end so I really do recommend Teen Wolf a lot it's one of my favorite things uh, right now the next one which will not be a shock to anyone Pretty Little Liars I'm not gonna talk much about this show because I've just like flipping talked and talked and talked about this show for ages but we're on season seven the last season and oh there's just like the five years later thing is just not the same I love the show but I loved it like when they were all in school and stuff but hey people have to grow up we've just had a PLO proposal we found out who A was and then there's like even more twists and turns there's now another A but it's AD and we're finding out who that is but it's honestly one of the best shows I've ever seen it's like my top it's like my second favorite show it's absolutely incredible incredible writing incredible cast incredible plot it's just the way it's done is amazing so PLO is definitely always gonna be on my list for Netflix shows another one I think I've spoken about this one a couple of times Orphan Black which is it wasn't originally a Netflix original it was um, on English TV but we've had one of our channels kind of cancelled and put online so you can only watch it on like things online and stuff so they've decided to put it as a Netflix original and this show again it's just it's about clones and finding the main creator of the clones and them all coming together and working as a team it's got very very confusing as we've just got on to season four um, but it's it's still very good Tat Tatiana Mullaney again is like probably one of the best actresses I've ever seen ever she deserves every single award out there her talent is remarkable I just she plays so many different accents cat clones and she has to do so many scenes by herself so many times it's just remarkable and I admire her for it it's just an incredible talent to have um, another one which is actually a British show that was on British TV but has been put on Netflix and I kind of didn't watch it when it was on the British TV because it was one of those programs where everyone was talking about it so you thought I don't want to get on the bandwagon until everybody stopped talking about it um, and it's Happy Valley but they've only got season one on Netflix so far I loved this it was as great as everybody said it was um, it's about uh, it's kind of like a police drama show and they're finding a like a a murderer I'd say or rapist and looking for him and then there's another kind of storyline intertwined with that like other things like other deaths happen and things but it is honestly one of the best British dramas I mean I prefer American dramas um, over British but British dra that British drama was amazing like it was so well done so kind of quickly run as well quickly paced again which I've already said I like very quickly paced you could follow the story and you could um, it could warm to a lot of the characters which again is always a good thing when you can warm to characters next one which I actually don't know if I spoke about this I spoke about this in a vlog but it's Bates Motel this show again is unreal literally unreal if you've seen the film Psycho this is Norman Bates prequel to that so it's all about him as a teenager his family how he became the psycho that he became honestly one of the best another one of the best series I've seen um, Freddie Highmore who plays Norman Bates is so so good in this honestly and you've got Vera Farmiga, Max Tierot, Tierot, I don't know how you say his surname, Nesta Carbonell, Olivia Cook. it's just it's full of amazing actors and actresses and it's just I can't it's just there's so much stuff that happens I don't want to give any of it away but just go and watch Bates Motel I think it's returning next year final season which will be season five because obviously they can't do loads with it because there's already a film called Psycho so they're only going to do it up to that point of his life but I know Rihanna's going to be in season five so that could be interesting not sold on it yet but we'll see another one which I guess a lot of people will probably have watched is Better Call Saul was a bit disappointed with season two though has to be said but this is the kind of prequel to Breaking Bad because Saul Goodman was in Breaking Bad 
and then this is him before he went to help out Walter and stuff but obviously it's filmed after Breaking Bad but it's set before um, there's not much I can say about it without giving the whole kind of thing away so if you like Breaking Bad and you haven't seen Better Call Saul go and watch Better Call Saul so you can have more of an idea of what Saul Goodman was like as a person we on from that Breaking Bad's obviously another one like that show as well it was a bit slow at first and I was kind of like why is everyone getting very hyped up about it you know there's not much here to offer and then once it kind of got halfway through season two that's where the um, it actually got really good and everything started making sense and the drama happened season four finale was the best finale for me that was like the most unexpected finale I've ever seen so yeah people have probably watched it but if you've watched it you'll know what I mean but that was honestly one of the greatest finales ever and the whole season series of Breaking Bad was just so great once you got into it and once you'd known about the characters and understood it a little bit more then that's when it started to make sense. The final final thing on my list is a very recent one Stranger Things. Everyone has been talking about Stranger Things and again it's not usually my kind of thing that I would um, watch because it's an 80s sci-fi thing and it's not really my cup of tea. Honestly though I was kind of slow in getting into it. Season Episode 1 and 2 didn't really like that much. I was kind of like, eh, bit slow. Don't really kind of like the whole thing that's happening. Season three, bam, everything changed and that was it. That was when I really got into it and couldn't stop watching. People probably hate me for saying that because every person's been like, it's so good. I would have binged it all. Season one and two, uh, season one, episode one and two, I kind of watched and then I left it for a little bit, then watched episode three, then got into it. But the children acting in this are so good. Like there's a lot of like it's like the best child acting I've seen in a long time. So go and watch that. The girl there's a girl with mind powers in it, a boy goes missing, there's monsters in the wall. It's all very eighties and very creepy and very good. And i I do like creepy kind of things, just not usually eighties sci fi. So yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It feels good to be back stood filming you a video because it's been long like I've said. Uh, if you have watched any of these programs let me know in the comments below or if you've watched them on Netflix that I haven't put on my list let me know because I watch a lot on Netflix so there might be some things that I have watched but I haven't put on my list. Uh, don't forget to subscribe down there to help me out. Uh, my social media will also be down there if I remember to fill it in. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you very soon with another video. Really hot. Really hot is an understatement. Oh, two potions. Oh, nice. Yes. Right, <laughs> so this, is, this is our life. I'm going to be like a sat-nav today. <laughs> You're like level 10 still. I'm like...